<coughs> Hello, this is uh, Tech Smart Food Guy and Josh. And um, today we're going to teach you how to uh, choose and install a graphics card. First of all, stay away from this one. Yes, that's white son of a right there. That is called a PCI, and that is slow. That is bad. Unless you have an uh, older computer that only has that, I would not get that. I would suggest you get the AGP or the PCI Express, which I don't have in this computer because it sucks. But um, on the screen there should be a, a pop-up of the three different types of bus slots for your motherboard. And basically, PCI is the slowest, AGP is, the fast, is uh, faster than PCI, but it's being outdated and uh, being merged into PCI Express which is current day most common and a lot cheaper it's ridiculous how AGP and PCI are way slower but they cost like twice as much and this beast right here this is our old beast the GeForce TI 4200 don't make fun of it it will cut you when you sleep uh, this is an AGP card and before you go out and trying to find out which graphics card you want to get I would suggest you know what power supply you have and they should mo for the most part unless you have a micro computer case which most people don't nowadays but if you do uh, you might want to do something about that get a new case and do a complete transfer which I don't have a tutorial for that because that would take too long but what you want to do is you want to open up your computer and on the side right there uh, a sticker something like that on your power supply which will tell you how much wattage and all that stuff that is required for your graphics card well graphics cards have requirements with them and this will tell you how much you have uh, on the screen I'll put up a screenshot of what they look like what how much where it says how much wattage you have and how much uh amps on the 12 volt rail you have in some cases you'll have two 12 volt rails and um, for that all you do is pretty much add them up and most people when they make graphics cards they don't tell you how much amps you have and you go out and you'll buy one that say you have 500 watt power supply but it's not that great it's not an, uh, a preferred gaming setup there and you won't have that many amps on the 12 volt rail generally it would be a cheap power supply thinking that the graphics card requires 300, which most of them do, you'll go out and buy it and it doesn't work. Well, the problem will probably be with the ampage on the 12 volt rail. On the screen you'll see the where to find uh, the total wattage, the 12 volt rail, and if some cases, if they're more expensive power supplies, they'll have two 12 volt rails and all you do is add them up and that's your total. And in other cases, you'll have a negative 12 volt rail, which subtracts, but usually that's not a high number. It's usually around between 2 to 1.5 or 0.8 or something like that. So that shouldn't affect you too much, but that's rarely seen anyway. In case you aren't very good with computers or you don't know what parts to buy, once you have done your research, you know what card you want, or, um, I would do something, I would go on Google, and I would type in the name of your graphics card, NVIDIA, ATI, whatever, the exact name of it, and hit review after it. So, for example, the uh, NVIDIA GeForce 5600 review. And a lot of websites and people put reviews on what uh, the card can do, benchmarks, pretty much frames a second in certain games, it'll compare it to other cards. Or there's this really good website that has a, um, I'll be showing that right now on the screen, uh, a compare list. And pretty much you just select the card, two cards, and it'll compare them. Up top there will be everything from texels and pixels and shader operations a second. And the one that has the highest, that side will have bolded letters and numbers instead of uh, normal font letters. And that means that that card outperforms the other one and that's obvious and then you go down more and it'll show more specific things like how much RAM the card series has and 
if you have a graphics card and say uh, one of them has a lot more shader operations, a second and stuff like that, but it's uh, doesn't have quite as much memory. Say it has a uh, half the memory of the other card you wanted, but the card with the half memory is much faster, go with that one. The RAM on a graphics card is not really used all that much when it comes to how fast it performs. If you want to be like a major gamer and you want to have your resolution up very high, then that's what the RAM is. The RAM pretty much just carries that data. And the higher resolution, the higher each frame in the game is going to be, and that's all that's for. So... If you're not into like playing Crisis or anything, I wouldn't worry about a lot of RAM on your graphics card with the resolution, so just go with what's faster. So you picked out your graphics card, it's sitting right in front of you, and you're staring at this weird shaped hole in your computer motherboard. Well, um, right now I'm going to show you how to put it in. It's very simple, you can even have your grandmother do this. Not my grandmother, my grandmother would die, but you could, your grandmother could probably do this. This, this is the beast, an old card. Like I said, don't make fun of it, it'll cut you. Now, just don't be forceful with it. If you see that the card snaps in half, that is not, you're applying too much pressure. And just slide it in until you hear a little snap. And then, there you go. The card is in. Now, you gotta Turn it, uh, plug in your computer. Don't be a moron like I was when I first tried doing this and plug the VGA or uh, HDMI cable into your computer's default one because your screen will not boot up. And don't drop your graphics card like I did too. Um, yep, that's it. Just turn your computer on. If it doesn't start, and, or you get uh, crashes and stuff, what you might need to do is... Uh, Unplug your graphics card and go to your BIOS setting, which is pressing F2 or F10, depending on what brand of computer you have, at the startup, and go to your onboard video and turn it off or switch it to uh, AGP or PCI or whatever one you have. This has been Tech Smart Food. If you have any questions, email me at techsmartfood at yahoo.com.